Hello, what is up? So, redeem here again. With more hey, sure This is the luggage we brought from game. London, isn't it? Shattered memory. Arriving at Cortona. Jenna asked me to remember our first day on Cortona. We are. Okay, let's check. Our mother brought a slew of belongings with her. She refused to leave a single thing in London. Mycroft had to spend the whole day dealing with it. There was, was always... always a hat on our stand, but I'm sure it did not belong to Mycroft. So it belonged to who? This trip was a challenge for our mother. I tried to help her. Do you feel it? Is it the air shimmering? Or is it my imagination? Production time. Oh, that's Minecraft, I think. Oh, so that's incorrect. So that's the correct one. Let's check. Can I open? Oh, this one. Voyage had been a challenge for our mother, and I tried to help her. As always, brought a lot of luggage with us, mainly because our mother, so Microf was busy dealing with it. So Microf is dealing with this. Nope. Okay. We are helping our mother. Yes. What are you doing, John? Let's validate. Your neighbors will be told that Mrs. Holmes is suffering from tuberculosis. It is common to move closer to the sea in such cases. Thank you, Dr. Richter. No, Sherlock, step Dr. away from her. Richter. Upstairs, go to your room. Lean on me, mother. Take your time. Actually, I never heard her coughing. I remember now. So it's not tuberculosis. We arrived in the early morning, rainy day. Weak and unsteady. I tried to help. Okay. Memories. Oh, I feel dizzy. It's stuffy in here, isn't it? John, are you alright? I'll be okay in a minute. <clears throat> How about we uh, find our room in the meantime? Sure, just recall the day we moved to the manor. Nice. Hit the truth. You lied to me, Minecraft. Why? Look at this. It's like traveling ten years into the past with a single step. Or at least, I'll never forget how challenging it was to obtain this simple sketch. Oh, these must be the notes of my earliest observations. We wanted to locate a particular dog we'd spotted, and we met it, didn't we? Coal dust from Miner's End, sandy dirt from the old city. We scoured the island top to bottom for these soil samples. Adventurous. The first chemical laboratory I ever made. I almost miss its elegant simplicity. Chemist. Studious. Robinson Crusade. Crusoe. The only fiction book on my table. I can still hear my mother reading it to me. Interesting. What's that over there? You know what? That definitely looks like a key. Let's poke around and see if we can find any secrets. So many pleasant evenings were spent here with the Encyclopedia Americana.
A magnificent tool made for a spurious purpose, staring into the sky. I've definitely found a better use for it. You spying. mean for spying on people? Uh -huh. Exactly. An artifact from Palau carved out of bone and claimed to be 300 years old. My mother proved it was a fake. My very favorite plaything. It was the perfect pirate treasure. Cannot believe all my toys are still here. Hey, they were not just yours. They were half mine too. Oh, oh it reminds me of our neighbor. He had the same balloon in his yard, only bigger. Do you remember? Yes. We visited him several times while living here. Need to repeat this one day, but with bullets. I'm trying to remember we had his end treasure. Cross shape. Stable opening cross shape. Perfect match. Still has a faint odor of tobacco, one of the few things on this island that smell like home. Still has a faint made of cherry wood, father's favorite. Small straight smoking pipe made of cherry wood that belonged to Sir Cherry's late father, to her homes. They didn't know we stole it from the guy band. My small archive of crime clippings. Maybe I should pick up this habit again. I knew you'd find it in no time. Something. I don't know. I used to live in one of the neighboring houses near the Greek bridge, and he had a gas balloon in his Wasn't yard. that neighbor missing a finger? That does sound vaguely familiar. Wasn't his name uh, Theodore? Theodore Gilden, perhaps? It's the perfect time to investigate. Let's check the map and the map. So, near what again? Brick Bridge. Is this a bridge? Brick Bridge. Let's go there. Goliath would murder us all. Mark my words. A gilded cage. New case. Gilden's yard. Destruction and trampled ground. Destruction and trampled ground. Oof. Another murder mystery. Oof. Oof, you, I'm the same. Not? Oof. Disjointed vertebrae. Difficult to say if it was a way to start or finish him off. A kneecap reduced to splinters. Ouch. A belt from a dressing gown. Curious. Yes, curious. The other ones, or the last one, I mean. Come on. The shoes? The blood trail? No? The broken leg? Oh, it's already morning. I cannot see it. 
What's this? Oh, what? Oh, the, the finger. A missing pinky, middle-aged. It's none other than Theodore Gilder. Oh, boy, Sherlock. It's another hard. death means another question. And we shall answer the question. It's far too interesting to give it up to the police. Yeah, you may be able to see it. An amount of attention that most can only dream of. Blood trail. Elephant. Poke the elephant with this. Really? A strong pull broke this leash. Yeesh. A pool of blood and saliva, possibly as a result of impact. Sherlock, take a picture of the footprint. It's valuable evidence. You can take a picture. I'll to activate your camera and R2 to take a photo. This one? This photograph can help us find the old article nice. about the elephants. The front page was fascinating. It was hard to yeah, believe as a child. Take a picture of you. We may See. need it in our investigation. I'm not crazy. There's evidence. So what to do next? A royal suite for a favorite pet. Plenty of food this to satisfy well the most fastidious. No? Okay. Can I trespass anymore? A coal gas tank. Enough to pump up an airship. It's seen a lot of use. The blade is worn from grinding. A sailor's knife, useful for cutting wet and thick Sailor. Clothes. Okay. Fresh signs of impact. A rough landing led to an altercation with this shed. My palace. Okay, an archive again. Let's check it later. Oh. Goliath may have killed Theodore. The elephant Goliath may have attacked Theodore, killed him, and already break free. Let's deduce on what happened here. So I think the elephant track the guy isn't it so he's poking with a stick uh, yeah I think because it landed there Dragging. Yes. And this one. Let's validate. In a fit of rage, Perfecto. the elephant broke the chain and threw its victim on the ground with a fierce power. Escaping the scene, it pulled the body with it but dropped it at the gate. At least some of this was witnessed by a third party who was hurled against the shed. The elephant can't have gone too far. I can still track it. Well, suppose you find it. Then what? Push it all the way back to the manor? Why not?
as unbelievable as it may be for the nice home delta let's ask the bystander excuse me just one question that's a question I can answer the elephant named Goliath crossed a great bridge in the direction of the forest where Theodore is walking Quick bridge Did I bump them? I'm a good person. Oh. The elephant barged into this cart of olive oil. What if we're lucky and he slipped and fell somewhere along the way? Hear me out. If an elephant falls in the forest Yo, and there's no nice. one around to... John, no. Oh, you're such a killjoy. Elephant, where are you? Water elephant went deeper. Strange, it was hung with care. The game has escaped us for now. We'll find a solution to the elephant problem later. Dear Theodore, I'm writing to you as a fellow islander. I value our friendship. Did I just died and respawn? What? Oh, I think it's because Sherlock has a fear of water. Is that it? Let's check this. It's just looking at the archive, right? John reminded me a newspaper article from our childhood. It was the first time I had seen this video. I can check the newspaper article. It was a front page story with it. Front page. The news. Wait. What? <laughs> Wait. What's this? It's a newspaper, right? What's this? Mm. I think all of these three are archives. Let's check. He's even been putting up posters. Poor man. Losing it may be the death of it. Someone. 
Learn the circumstance behind the missing item posters. Nah. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. I think. Yeah. A local music teacher has been putting up posters in Central Ladio around St. Clement's Cathedral, appealing for information about the stolen violin. Oh. String Theory. Nice. Title. Violin. Let's check that after this case. Cordona Chronicle. A new fast travel point. Stop the presses. Who is Cordona's handsome stranger? <laughs> or knows Baggerspoon's local life? Wait, uh, no. Oh. The foreigner hides dark past. I, uh... Oh, you've made quite the impression already, Mr. Holmes. You care to tell your side of the story? I'm quite certain I have no idea as to what you refer, and I am further certain I have no interest in indulging your gossip. Gossip? You mean you just in the truth will come out, earlier. but will only be heard if told well. Scandal, daring do, romance. These are the tools of every good journalist. Nothing travels faster or lasts longer than a great story. Young man. Your tale will be told with or without you. My readers demand it. You already knew my name and seem aware of my doings here in Cordona. I presume this newspaper is your little endeavor? Yasmin Sertel, editor-in-chief of the Cordona Chronicle. Advocate of the free press, voice of the people, scourge of the silk stocking. Charmed, I'm sure. As an advocate of the free press, I trust you'll permit me to consult your archives? There are gaps in my knowledge of Cordona. Oh, so my work does have merit. Well, I think we can strike a bargain. I shall provide you access, and you let me keep writing about your exploits. So be it. Brooding bachelor builds bridges. Now that's character development. I guess I owe you my gratitude. What can I say? I've always enjoyed working with the Holmes. They whisper such the interesting homes. things. The man. Together with my brother. Micro. So, Jen, let's check again. So it's correct. Newspaper archive. Okay. It's the first time I had seen these beautiful creatures. I can check the newspaper. Front page. Best science journalist published 10 years ago. Current year 1880 to this one. Search the Lord of All Beasts. That's the article. Feeling old already. Found a set of keys in Theodore Gildan's dressing gown. Wait. Oh, this is the string theory. No. Hmm. I think it's in the house. What's this? Oh, 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 nice. Oh, always late. Oh, why do I get the worst jobs?
Oh, it's correct. Gildan Manor. I've seen this mask in the first case. I can always recognize the spirit of a true artist. Nice base you got here. This young lady has a childish interest for her age. It's all paintings. My name passer. is Sherlock Holmes. Theodore Gildon was... Did you kill him? Did you kill the elephant? It's not in the yard anymore. It escaped into the forest. You can't let it go. What if it returns? I highly doubt that, miss. Imogen Gildon. Please, I beg of you. Find that dreadful beast that killed my father. I suppose we do need to learn what happened. Focus. Be clear and concise. What happened? Just the facts. I was here, packing my bags. My father was with the elephant. Then I heard the noise. Goliath made such a horrifying scream. Through my window, I saw how it lifted my father by his neck. So I ran downstairs. The elephant was dragging my father's lifeless body. I threw stones at the monster, so it dropped him. Then Goliath ran screaming, and I came back here and hid. Empathetic. That is a terrifying experience, Miss Gildon. I'm sorry you had to go through it. Thank you. Goliath must be caught, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you for the information, Miss Gildon. I did have some questions for your father. Perhaps you might help me with them? I wasn't privy to much of my father's life. And it's very hard to think of anything at all with Goliath still loose. Please, Mr. Holmes. Very well. Do you mind if I ask you more questions if I find anything that might help? Anything to catch that monster. I've nothing to say about this. Had Goliath been aggressive before? It's dangerous, but it was never aggressive near my father. My father would do anything for Goliath. We're not gonna All the elephant had to do was clap its ears. Her. You envied him, the elephant, I mean. Our house is called the House of Ivory. I've heard some people refer to me as the Ivory Girl, and my room stinks of the animal, as if it's me who lives in a pen and not Goliath. It's not envy, Mr. Holmes. It's just incredibly difficult to live like this. Did you observe anyone else in the yard? Any of your servants, perhaps? Servants? Do you imagine that we would have any with Goliath? No one wishes to work in this house, even for double pay. I didn't see anyone else. Only my father and that diabolical beast. Miss Gildon, I was on this island ten years ago, and your father knew my mother. I believe I even had the opportunity to ride that balloon outside, but I do not recall seeing you. There's a balloon? I lived at my late mother's in Sheffield at the time. I'm in no spirit to reminisce right now. The elephant is out there. You've never heard the name Violet Holmes before? Perhaps your father... Please, Mr. Holmes. With that beast roaming free, I can't think of anything. Very well. I'm just gonna go see, check some stuff of yours, if it's okay, if you don't mind. False idols, oh, sounds utterly dreary. She packed as much as she could carry. Mm, what's this? Uh, the same dull poses on all romantic photographs. Mm -hmm. So idyllic. Enjoy your happily ever after before it stales. Hey, Sherry, we need to talk. You found false idols. We need to find the remaining two. What does bazooka even mean? Would this paper be good for anything but blowing one's nose on? They're not rubbish, Sherry. There's something more. I'm serious. Very well. I doubt it'll be worth it, but I will find them for you, John. You'll thank me later. They're some of the most imaginative books I've ever read. What did you say? 
Speaking aloud helps me think. Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy. You, on the other hand. A commendable effort to barricade the windows. Backpacks. These bags of yours, it looks as if you've packed your entire room. Were you planning on going somewhere? My After partner and I we wanted a change, a fresh start abroad. Oh, partner. but now I have to stay here. Here, an orphan. Never mind. How can you read something like this? It's hard to swallow, and that's not due to the hard cover. You're hardly serious. Any library without Nabe and Laura is incomplete. If you can read, then these books are an absolute must. Love and adventure. They're about life. Oh, I wasn't aware that exploding pyramids were a part of daily life on Cordona. You haven't seen life, so you might try reading about it at least. I'm afraid I can't add anything useful. I found this. Who's this young lad next to you, your faithful knight? Paul. He's my pirate. He's not really a pirate. I just call him that. It probably sounds very silly. Your secret is safe in my hands. Does Paul work somewhere? What is his surname? His name is Paul Perks. He and his yacht Whirlpool are the champions of the Salacia Yacht Club. He sails there. I'll show you where it is on the map if you need to meet him. A yachting champion? Oh, well, that will be a first. I prefer dry land. And so does my suit. My finisher photo of the mummy. Southern Grand Sari. Southern Grand Sari. Grand Sari. Southern. Okay. Fast travel. Teleportation. Let's buy some Landscapes goods. and portraits. Find the one that you My goods will brighten up your house. Oh, the paintings. Nice. Let's all... But Violet's portrait irreplaceable. Sketch of a boy. John. Enjoy your purchase. Oh, I will. I Make love your God. Sorry, I have nothing to offer you. Where's the door? Is this not it? Hey, is this the Yap Club? May I ask for your assistance? That's a question I can answer. Yap Club members mentioned that Paul missed the race and no one has seen him since morning. He might be in his room in the workshop south of the Yap Club. South of the Yap Club. Oh, this the one. Yep. Book workshop. Uh. If there are items like that, you already know that there will be a fight in here. See the fire extinguisher. to navigate and warn others at sea. You should have a warning to cover your ears. Nice, Sales the second book. of hatred. I suppose there is something for everyone, including champions. 
Who knew archaeology could be so exciting? Exciting is certainly a word. Bloodied bandages. Has someone been hurt? Where would a champion hide a key? Found a base for ball bricks. Works at arrow. Notice a bloodied bandage. Crack and the door frame currently empty. Often used full of nails. Upton. Slightly crooked. Recently moved. Nice. Uh, Paul is more skilled at yachting than he is at hiding keys. Well, that was easy to find. That's the bandages. To earn big, you have to spend big. Too expensive. Corm the skilly wet foot. You think you can leech off of my family? Steal my money? Exploit my daughter? This ends today. Your career is over. I shall give you one final warning. If you refuse to cooperate, you'll find yourself in deep water. Gildan. Mr. Gildan wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty. Warmer guards from Gildan. Well put. Total stake 100, total winning. Additional 600. earnings to sweeten the victory. An interesting place for a message to a champion. Mm -hmm. Old betting slips. Paul always bets on Whirlpool. One victory after another. You bet he did. Yeah, I re really thought of that. A box full of darts. Each has a needle and can be loaded with drugs. An expensive set of tools for woodwork. An amateur wouldn't know how to use these. Shipbuilding, shipwright's tricks, sail weaving. That it? Do you have anything to Too say? Too ordinary a room for a champion. There's no incentive to put in any effort. Oh, the suspicious thing. Where? Oh no, one of the bad things there's in the world for the room. Caddy, not smeared. Is that drugs? Undeniably psychotropes. Not for toothache, I think. Psychotropes. I wonder what he has for biscuits. Oi! Hands Oi. off my possessions before you lose your fingers. Are you illiterate? The rules are written everywhere. Ah, Mr. Perks, the cabin boy himself. Champion, you mean. I was right. You are illiterate. I think a couple of shiners might teach you. One last chance. Who are you? Mm. I'm Sherlock Holmes, a friend Killed of our mutual acquaintance, Miss him, Imogen. Right? Look, you artichoke. Imogen has no friends. Except for me. If you must try to insult people, it's better to know the meanings of the words that you're using. You fancy you could teach a sailor to swear? Go ahead. Show me how inventive you are. Stand still for a moment. Deduction. 
what? Female? Let me see. No, Adam's apple. So that's just to distinguish. Hit something hard. Swollen. Been a payback or accident in a fight. Okay. So to really know if you are. Never mind. Develop female body. Smuggle goods for virus again. Squared on her injured arm. Uh, she's a champion, right? So, but this has been a fight. I'm impressed by how well a woman can handle a yacht and endure so many hardships on the open sea. The revelation of your nature could well humiliate so many rich men here. Not to mention how you have broken the rules. But I understand. You've done this to forge a real career in the sport. But tell me something. Has no one asked you why you don't grow a beard? Shh! Have you been following me? You better not be wanting to end my career, because I swear you'll regret it if I get outed. Damn you, Paul. I'm sick of... Who's this peacock? Does he know who I am? I definitely know who you are not. Do I care? You're not a dictionary reader, at least. I wanted to see how you... pals interact with each other in your natural Quite habitat. Thin. <laughs> it's like in the meme. But I'm afraid I have to interfere. Dun, 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 Time for some discombobulation. Never mind, just go here. There we go. Take a rest, my friend. Don't bother moving. You've lost. No more crime for you. The snuff's ready. How did you get here? Come on. You can overcome this route now. There should be only Don't one entrance. Moving. Give him the pepper snuff. Oh, yo, John. Oh, what? Wait, I dodged it. It's all yours now. Go for it. Pepper snap. May I? <coughs> Too simple. You're gonna cry. <sighs> Dodge it. Dodge it again. Oh, someone has. Oh, what? Dodge oh. this. Almost killed him. I couldn't miss the party. No more crime for you until next month. Time to knock this guy out. Ouch. That hurts. Come on. Take this! I'm coming. Oh, no. The snuff's never. Nothing. Good day. <laughs> Don't bother moving. You've lost. I can break all your bones while naming them. And there's no reward for risking our lives. Paul's explanation will suffice. Where are you, Paul? Not Paul. Your fellow mariners have a strange way of showing hospitality. They were not my friends. Are you sure? I would rather risk my neck for someone who's at least honest and thankful. Perhaps then don't enter someone's life and be so judgmental, yeah, pretending judgmental. you're better than they are. Then give me your perspective and allow me to see through your eyes. What were you doing this morning, Miss Perks? Don't call me that. 
I'm a champion. I was sailing. The other club members told me that you missed the race this morning. Do champions not need to practice? Oh, you've talked with them already. No, I wasn't racing. I visited the doctor after that attack on me. And then I had to honor the deal with the bandits you just took care of. I tried to tell you before, but your partners interrupted. Have you heard the news? Theodore Gilden is dead. Do you have anything to say? Well, what a shock. To me, he was an angry old ogre. Good riddance. Was it Goliath that killed him? Did it crush him? Break his bones? Come on, tell me. I want all the details. You have an unusual way of showing grief. <laughs> Imogen wouldn't appreciate that. But yes, the animal could have been involved. It's poetic in a way, isn't it? It takes a beast to kill a monster. I wish I could have been that elephant. Yo, I'm so angry about him. You're asking for trouble with this smuggling business. You better leave it before they smuggle you out in a barrel. Don't patronize me. I've only ever had trouble with law-abiding citizens like Gilden and you. Never bandits. So ask me anything you want, and then get out of my sight. You smuggle illicit psychotropes on your yacht. Not a delivery for the hospital, I'm sure. Of course not. I've had to cut corners to earn some money. How might a person afford to pay for a yacht in an honest way? I don't know, although I'm smart. The buyers are my customers. Adults who are willing to pay for their pleasure, or weapons for jewels. Whatever they want me to deliver. Nothing criminal. Well, it's your lucky day. I'm not here because of smuggling. Have you tasted this tea yourself? I wouldn't have been a champion if I had used it. It's just a side business that keeps my career afloat. It's quite expensive to compete in yachting. Sometimes I cut corners. Such as fixing whirlpool yourself? Exactly. And sometimes I just have to pay. That's how I earn money. I don't sell slaves or take the last mangir from a poor family. I don't know what you're suggesting. Look what I found. A box full of darts. Hey, that's mine. I confiscated it. These darts appear to be filled with something. Poison? How powerful is it? It's strychnine. Enough strychnine. to instantly kill a small rodent. I haven't tried it on a human. Yet. I hope you know what you're doing. Could it immobilize a larger animal, say, mm. hmm, an elephant? I've never tried, but I have wondered. Let me trigger the rampage. Imogen doesn't strike me as an industrious young lady, so I find it strange that she was busy packing up all her belongings when Mr. Gilden died. That's some um, favorable wind in your sails, isn't it? Is it so suspicious that a couple might embark on a trip? I wanted to thank her, so we plan to go traveling. A Theodore-free place, without elephants. The timing of it is so suspicious, however. You killed him? Your lady friend becomes an orphan and heir, and there's a planned trip directly afterwards. Mm. An improvised romantic dinner will never please a spoiled girl. A planned voyage might. It's not spur of the moment. It seems as though Theodore Gilden hung a sword of Damocles over your life and career. Were these only words, or something more serious? Pfft. Check my forearm. Pulled muscles and bruises. Small cuts. Nothing that you could call serious. I doubt that a man in his late fifties could wrestle you. It wasn't him. He behaved like a rat and hired brutes. His boys tried to lock my hands behind my back, but I was faster and I escaped. Was he so protective of his daughter, or was it your feminine secret that provoked him? My guess is that he was protecting his property. Mm. As he saw it, he owned Imogen, and he treated her like a piece of furniture. Rapunzel. He didn't want his daughter to be loved by anyone. What's more painful is that Theodore didn't allow me to love his daughter. Typical. I'm not Romain sure that Julia. your relationship with Imogen could be described as typical. Are you afraid of a woman in trousers? Now that's typical of men. Between yachts, darts, and notes from bandits, I've discovered many fascinating facts about you. But this, an installment of Nabe and Laura's adventures, why did you sully your it's library? Intriguing. This? What's this it's book about? A gift from Imogen. I didn't buy it. I might have turned a couple of pages, but nothing more. I swear. 
I will give you the benefit of the doubt, but your literary taste has put you on my blacklist. Does this knife seem familiar? I didn't find it in your competitor's back, to be clear. This knife is as blunt as your humor. It's a boson's knife, but it's not mine. I wouldn't be so careless as to mislay my tools. But it's a sailor knife, right? So, could be. I'm clueless. What can you tell me about the elephant? He's smarter than some people here, including his owner. Although I feel he could be dangerous, no matter how much he's fed. Why is that? Have you ever seen Goliath attack anyone? Well, not exactly. But I saw it, uh, abusing some poor tree during one of its walks with Theodore. The expression on that old ninny's face was priceless. But it wasn't funny to look at. Believe me, it was frightening. A charming picture. I've heard that yeah, champions why did you do often pose, pose like with this? their trophies. Cheeky. It is a lovely trophy, though. I'm sure you will agree. What is it that you like most about her? Her naivety? Her father's money? A somewhat difficult choice. Especially now that her father is out of the equation. Hmm. Key evidence collected. New Mind Palace. Fresh Bruce. Damage. It's a shit. Paul's elbow injury may have been sustained by falling into their skill and shot. So you may be the killer. So their guild was highly motivated to destroy Paul's career and well being, even going so far as to hire criminals. There was a witness to the chaos and guild inspired. They trapped their knife and they have. May have injuries from the fall. Okay, so I'm just going outside and we'll take a break from here. There. So let's continue in the next video. Goodbye.